Hey YouTube, welcome back. And on today's episode, I'm going to be replacing some fluorescent lights with an LED square. These are made for drop ceilings like the ones in this room right here. These old fluorescent lights that I have here today use a T12 bulb with a ballast. It's not particularly energy efficient, so by switching over to this 40 watt LED square, I can replace two of these fixtures and it's gonna save me some money in the long run. I picked up these drop ceiling LED squares on Amazon and I got them for about $30 a piece. I will link these down below in the description of the video. $30 a piece for the whole fixture is a pretty good deal. Plus it comes with the junction box already attached so you don't have to mount any junction boxes. If I were going to replace these fluorescent lights with just a typical uh, flush mount light fixture, then I would have to mount a junction box up here to wire it together in. This is gonna skip that step so it should be a pretty easy install. This new LED panel has a couple of switches on the back. One adjusts the watt usage from 40, 30 to 20. I'm going to want to run it at 40 because it's going to be replacing two of my fluorescent fixtures. And then there's also a color adjustment over here that goes from 3000K to 5000K. A temperature adjustment like this changes from the warmer or the yellow kind of light at the 3000K up to the 5000 which will be more the daylight or more of a blue tone so for me today i think i'm going to put it in the middle at the 4000 and we'll try that for the wiring there is the typical black for the hot the white for the neutral and then green for a ground there is also a pink and purple line in here that are capped off these are for running a dimmer switch yeah. For most office applications and warehouse applications, you probably don't want a dimmer on there, so they keep those kept off. So you'll just be using these three, and it did come with the wire nuts for connecting it. My first step is going to be removing the old light fixture, so be sure and have the power off to your light fixture. I'm going to kind of speed through this part. We're removing the entire thing down to the power cable that is coming in from the ceiling. The old fixture removed, I can now get ready for my new one. I'm going to remove this panel because this is where my lines are coming in. And we'll be replacing this panel right here with the new light fixture. With the old fixture down, it's time to wire up the new one. I've left the connection piece for the junction box on the end of the wire here. I'm going to reuse that. I've stripped the ends of my wire so I've got nice fresh pieces of wire coming out. Now this is the cover plate for the junction box on the back of the new light. So I need to run this through this piece by breaking out one of the tabs. So I'm going to break out one of the tabs. Shouldn't matter which one. Gives me a hole to attach my connector to. Put the nut on the back side. Now comes the fun part of wiring up the new fixture. The easiest way to do this would be to set the fixture into the ceiling and then reach in from the panel next door and wire it up that way so that you don't have to hold the, the fixture, but I'm not gonna be able to film it very well that way. So I'm going to try to hold onto the light fixture while I wire it up and then poke the light fixture up in the ceiling. It's not ideal, but at least then maybe I can get it on camera. You're just gonna stick with the color codes on these wires. So black to black, white to white, and then the green wire goes to the naked wire or the uninsulated wire, which is the ground coming in from the power side. I will do it first. Once you have all of your wires connected, it's good to give them all a little tug to make sure that all of the wires got connected into the wire nuts. The wire nuts aren't falling off. Now you can reconnect the 
cover plate back on to the junction box. To do that, tuck all the wires in and then there's a little tab on the one end that will go into the tab hole. So the tab went in this little slot right here and then it lines up the screw hole on that side. As I'm holding this panel up here, it's one thing that I've noticed is really nice is these panels are really light. They are probably lighter than the acoustic ceiling tiles that I took out of there. The last step of the install is just to poke it back in the ceiling. So let's go ahead and do that. This pit fit perfectly in my two by two square ceiling. I should note that these LED lights also come in a two foot by four foot. If that's how the grid on your ceiling is set up, let's test it out. My new LED light panel is working. I think it is brighter than the one set of fluorescent bulbs that I had in here that were still working. Now, if I would have had both sets on, then maybe this would be a little bit dimmer than what those are. For my storage room or for an office, if you were replacing each individual fluorescent light with one of these, I think it would be great. I think it's really nice that it has the ability to dim it from the switches up above and to change the color on it. I've got about 30 of these fixtures in our storage rooms at my apartments that I'm gonna be changing out. So I think it'll save us a lot of money in the long run. Hopefully these last a really long time being that they're LEDs. They were super easy to install. The entire process took me about 15 minutes while I was filming it. So if I wasn't didn't have to film it, then maybe it would take 10 minutes or less to replace a set of lights with the LED light. These are a great way to go if you have drop ceilings in your storage rooms or in your office space. I would definitely recommend the LED panels. They were super easy to do and they were fairly inexpensive, less than most light fixtures. These were about $30 a piece. And again, the link for these is down below in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you back here next time.